This is High School Basketball on iTalk 1067, presented by Sholo Ford, produced by White Mountain Youth Productions in cooperation with iTalk 1067 Radio. High School Basketball is also brought to you in part by Northland Pioneer College, Ace Hardware of the White Mountains, Honda Ski and Outdoor Sport, Deemer's Glass, Beeler Orthodontics, Summit Regional Medical Center, Octopus Car Wash, Mountain Mobile Auto Glass, Little Bluebird Studios, and Hudson's Furniture. And now, Sholo Ford presents High School Basketball. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to historic Route 66, specifically Holbrook, Arizona, the campus of Holbrook High School, Munoz Gymnasium, Budenholzer Court, and we are set for tonight's matchup between the visiting Snowflake Lobos and the homestanding Holbrook Roadrunners for a 3A East region matchup. This is Sholo Forge's presentation of White Mountain Basketball on iTalk 106.7 and worldwide on iTalk1067.com. Who sells the number one truck in America? Sholo Ford. That's right, not only do they sell it, Sholo Ford is the best place to buy it. Why? Guy Hatch guarantees it. In fact, he guarantees you'll get the best deal on your next Ford car, van, or SUV as well. It doesn't matter what you buy. Sholo Ford has the best deal. Sholo Ford on the east end of the deuce and at SholoFord.com. You've been there, waiting forever at the gas station for the guy to free up so he can fill up your propane tank. Or worse, when the only qualified propane technician decided to stay home that day. Yep, you've been there and I have too. That's why now I get my propane from Ace Hardware every time. You get Ace Hardware's world-famous customer service when you stop in for propane. That's right, you get in, you get out, and you get a great deal on propane and everything else. From Ace Hardware at their locations in Pine Top and Heber. Ace Hardware is proud to support White Mountain Sports. Orthodontist Dr. Joshua Beeler has been providing family-friendly orthodontics in Sholo and the entire White Mountains since 2006. If you need braces, stop in and see the friendly folks at Beeler Orthodontics and meet their professional staff. Dr. Beeler and his team have the latest in orthodontics technology, and they work with each patient individually to custom-tailor the most effective treatment plan for the best results. Beeler Orthodontics is a proud sponsor of high school sports. Beeler Orthodontics. Live to smile. Love your smile. When you think glass, think Deemer's Glass in Lakeside. Deemer's Glass offers the best selection of quality glass with affordable prices. They do full home window packages, replacement windows, custom shower doors and enclosures, custom mirrors in many shapes, styles, and colors, glass doors and hardware, commercial glass for buildings and offices, skylights, screens, fire-rated glass for your fireplace or stove, window film, and more. Visit Deemer's Glass today on Porter Mountain Road in Lakeside or call 1-888-GLASSMAN. Want to go fishing? Head to Honda Ski and Outdoor Sport. They have fishing supplies, outdoor fishing attire, and fishing gear. Plus, all kinds of bait, including live worms, flies, and lures. The staff are experienced anglers, and they can advise you on what you need, where to go, and what type of bait the fish are biting on. Plus, pick up your fishing, camping, and boat permits. When you think fishing, think Honda Ski and Outdoor Sport. Located on Highway 260, one mile before the casino. Welcome back once again, ladies and gentlemen, to the campus of Holbrook High School and Minyosh Gymnasium with Budenholzer Court. Tonight, featuring the Snowflake Lobos and the home team, the Holbrook Roadrunners, as we, as we put it down to the starting lineups for each team. Ron, any thoughts on this matchup after we went through an amazing girls game? Boy, I, if we have a game like that, I think we'll we'll go out of here tonight pretty wore out. But I don't expect anything different. Uh, a couple of the same officials in this one, so if it gets physical, it could be a long night. Now, we do know this, that uh, as far as the ace hardware keys of the game, we have a Holbrook squad who definitely is going to be looking for some revenge, right? Absolutely. On January 21st, 2020, the Lobos defeated this Holbrook Roadrunner squad 64 to 53 in Snowflake Gymnasium. And as a result of that, I look for the Lobos to come out and play a very similar game as they did that night. Now, 
Ron, with that being said, as we're talking about our ace hardware keys of the game, that night, the senior for the Roadrunners, Kobe Corporich, did not have his A game that night. I'm not sure what his shooting percentage was, but he did not have a good night working the, the three-point shot as he usually does. If he's hot tonight, it could be a whole different story. Um, we'd like to give thanks as we go through to Sholo Ford, Deemer's Glass, White Mountain, or Mo Mountain Mobile Auto Glass, and Summit Healthcare as we go down to the Rod Everingham for the Summit Healthcare Injury Report. Well, we don't have any injuries to report, but we did have some injuries during the girls' game, and we'll be looking for that during this game. Hopefully it's a... Um, a clean, healthy game, but uh, we'll thank Summit for being our sponsor for keeping an eye on our injuries here. And we're also looking for our Deemer's Glass play for our Beeler Orthodontics, another one of our sponsors for our straight line play of the game as the Roadrunners and the Lobos get set here as number 24, the junior Stuart West, going to jump against number 44 for the Roadrunners, Ethan Bahi. The Lobos start Willis, Brimhall, West, Brinkerhoff, and Larson. Bahi, Corporich, uh, Nelson, not Nelson, excuse me, Begay, Baldonado for the Roadrunners. As okay. Ball out of bounds going for the Lobos. Lobos bring it into Brimhall. Brimhall brings it across the time stripe. Brimhall over to West. West the big forward at the top of the key. West looking for Willis. West over to the junior Gannon Larson, number 11. Larson guarded by Nelson. Inside, oh, travel. Brinkerhoff. No call. Goes, dishes off to West. No call, as Ron Emery had said. Very close to a travel by Brinkerhoff. Stuart West, 9.1 uh, points per game on the season. Baldonado brings the ball back out to Bahi. Corprich looked for the three. Corprich over to Nelson. Nelson giving it to Cordell Begay, number 20 for the Roadrunners, as Larson is guarding Corprich. Low Roadrunners being very patient early on, looking for the primo shot as we have Baldonado dribbles, misses. Bahi with the ball, tries to get it out to number 10. Nelson and is intercepted by Brimhall. Brimhall down quick. Brimhall dribbling it to himself, gives it to Willis. Willis missing the eight-foot jumper. Rebounded. Good for the Lobos as they jump out to a four-to-zero lead. So we got Stewart West four, Holbrook zero. There's Baldonado. Baldonado inside. Baldonado about a nine-foot jumper. It is good. Cuts the Lobo lead four to two. Six twenty-four left here. Early, early, early in the ball game. As Nels, as excuse me, Gannon Larson brings it over to Michael Brimhall. Brimhall dribbles. Brimhall brings it back out. Guarded real close by Baldonado, and Brimhall has it knocked away. Saved by, I think that is Brinkerhoff. Brinkerhoff out to Willis. Willis, the senior, now to his left. Willis comes in the middle over to West. West cannot hang on to the ball. Turnover Lobos, and we six minutes. Lobos four to two. Very early on. That was a nice dish. Nice dish, West just couldn't hold on to it. West is the, I don't even know what they have him listed at, to be honest with you, Ron, the, the very tall junior. There's Nelson. Nelson eventually gets it to the hands of Baldonado, who gives it up to Corporate. Corporate is going to shoot a long three, and <laughs> that banks off the quadrilateral painted on the backboard through the net for a three-point well, shot. Well, you talked about that in the last game we played and said he was uh, not on. I don't know that that was on, but it just happened to be long enough to bank and go in. You know, Holbrook as a team wasn't on. There's Willis with the three of his own banging in and out. Um, Ron actually had a chance to have lunch with Coach Andy Wood yesterday, and one of the things that Coach Wood said is, we seem to play well in this gym. And and he was pretty excited about coming over here. And, and in his, I think, 14, 15th or 16th year at the helm for the Lobos, he says his teams always seem to rise to the occasion on what's going on in this gym. And so good for them. That's uh, Baldonado puts up a three, and it is good. Eight to four. The Roadrunners now double up the Lobos. But he was looking forward to the game and what was going to happen here in this gym. There's West with the ball. West into Brinkerhoff. Brinkerhoff trying to back down Corporich. Brinkerhoff misses off the back. Eventually in the hands of Baldonado. Roadrunners with a little bit of momentum trying to run. Corporich for three. Corporich no good. Rebound Willis. 
the shortest man on the court, possibly ending up with the rebound there. Great job by the senior. Ahead to Stuart West. West doesn't get it. West very tipped it over, very lightly, excuse me, tipped it over to Brinkerhoff. Brinkerhoff goes and is fouled by number 20, Corda. Oh, no. They give the foul to Bahi, number 44, for his first personal first team. Troy Brinkerhoff, the senior for the Lobos, at the line. Brinkerhoff settling in. There's his first free throw. It is good. I'll check. Brinkerhoff sets, looks. Brinkerhoff, good. And that brings the Lobos to within two as Corporich inbounds the ball to Baldonado. Holbrook slowing it down a little. There's Baldonado with the drive. Baldonado in and, oh, off. And, Ron, there's that physicality we had mentioned earlier and what's going to happen uh, as we go through here. That's going to be Lobos' ball. We're going to have Michael Brimhall bringing it out for the Lobos as it looks like Holbrook is going to put somewhat of a press on. Brinkerhoff goes. Brinkerhoff now gives it back to Brimhall, who's going to bring it up. Roadrunners back off their defense. Brimhall brings it over the time stripe. Brimhall looks inside to Willis. It is intercepted by Corprich. Corprich almost loses it out of bounds, saves it to himself, throws it over to the far court to Nelson. Nelson gives it to Baldonado. Corprich ends up with the ball back. Corprich brings it just over the arc to the back court, as well as Baldonado with the ball now. Big Bahi coming out there. Bahi goes, ball ends up. Shot by number 10, Anthony Nelson. No good. Rebound is to the Lobos. Gannon Larson, number 11 for the Lobos, bringing the ball. He's going to go all the way. Left-handed layup. Bounce, 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 and it is good. The level rims of Ron Everingham <laughs> went down there and fixed them between games. They look a little more level this game. Ron, very early on, very close game, very tight score, 8-8. Eight to eight. Corporich has put up two monster threes, made one of them. Uh, I look for a lot the same. Speaking of that, Corporich Thought gets about it. it. I mean, we're talking almost NBA range, Ron. Yep. Now Corpus is looking to drive, a little bit of a spin move. Bahi wide open, foregoes, gives it out to Baldonado. No good. West with the rebound. Stewart West. You West know, gives it over to the guard, Larson. What's interesting, Aaron, is this game's not as physical as the girls' game was. <laughs> the girls' game had a lot of physicality, and it started out from the get-go. Yeah. Gannon Larson loses the ball to Corpridge. Corpridge is now going to bring the ball coast to coast. He's guarded by West. He goes. West and him collide, except you're not allowed to do that. So I believe number 24, Stuart West, is going to be whistled for the foul. Corporich at the line to shoot two. This game tied 8-8. Eight to eight. Two minutes and 55 seconds. Again, 8-8 eight to eight here from Holbrook High School. Corporich's first free throw is good. Number 20, Patrick Henderson checks in for Brimhall as well as number 12 for the Roadrunners, and that is Damian Clark. Clark checking in for the Roadrunners. He is going to match up with Devin Willis. Corpich at the line. Corpich looks for a second. It is good. Gives the Roadrunners that uh, mysterious two-point lead. Mysterious because we had that last game and don't take any points for granted. Up four. Yes, he did. He made them both. West off the back of the rim, bow, bow, bow in and out. The unlevel rims of Ron Everingham mm -hmm. factoring in once again. Holbrook very slow to control the ball, very characteristic of the control that they start to do. That's Clark. Clark gives it back. I believe Baldonado has it. Baldonado over to Corporich. Corporich, anytime he gets that ball in the arc, is looking to shoot it. Nelson with the ball back in his hands. Nelson very controlled dribbling, guarded by Willis. Nelson gives it over to Clark. You know, you mentioned it, the uh, Holbrook program, even since the days of uh, Raul Mendoza, very patient with the ball, able to take the air out of the ball. Also, too, is they seem to do some of the very little fundamental things extremely well. One of the things that they do well is we talk about making their free throws, but they aren't afraid to shoot the ball. And when they do, you'll notice they're crashing the boards. Um, Coach uh, Delmar was an assistant of Raul's. Yep. In fact, I think they're at the end of Coach Mendoza's time here. Um, Coach Delmar did most of the subbing. Okay. Um, and uh, he controlled the game, so he knows the system. He knows what these boys are used to. And uh, here in Holbrook, they kind of grow up with this system looking to play big time. 
Real quick, uh, Stuart West with a second foul. You, you see that being a factor? I see that being a huge factor. Stuart West, um, I don't know much of the backstory. Many of you at home know much of the backstory about that young man, but for him to even be out here this year is, is amazing. He had a, a growth on his brain. It, it, it could be considered a tumor, but it had some other factors to it. Really? And, and had it drained and removed just before the season started and had to rehab through that. Now, it ended up being not as severe as it could have been, but anytime you hear growth on the brain yeah. or something on the brain. And so he overcame that and had to sit a few games, but he has turned into a great addition. Not addition. He's been a great teammate for the Lobos into a starting role, but um, great young man. As good of a basketball player as he's become, um, even better young man on and off the court. Of course, I like I said in the last game, I have the privilege of working with some of these young men at Snowflake High School and, and being involved a little bit with them. And uh, I, I don't know these Holbrook young men well, but I'm sure just the oh. same too. There's trouble. Larson. Larson inside to Willis. Willis is going to give it off to Brinkerhoff. Brinkerhoff, duck underneath, guarded by Bahi. However, clangs it off the side of the rim and gives the ball back over to the Roadrunners where Baldonado is going to bring it up and look for three inside to Big Bahi. Bahi goes for an easy two that bounced around not so easily. Gavin Larson inbounds to Brinkerhoff. 13 to eight, 55 seconds left here in the first quarter. As Larson brings the ball up for the Lobos, it's tipped, knocked away, and there is Big Bahi with the ball again. Over to Baldonado, Baldonado into number 12, Damian Clark, who is rejected by Brinkerhoff. Now Devin Willis gets the ball out in the corner. He puts up a three off the back side of the rim, and there's Bahi to rebound it again. Number 21, McKay Wood checking in for the Lobos as Holbrook has opted to go for Clark here as we wind down. 25 seconds left in this first quarter as the Lobos are down 13 to eight to the Roadrunners. Patrick Henderson intercepts the ball. Patrick goes, throws it forward for McKay Wood. However, Corporich tips the ball out of bounds. It's going to be Lobo ball. 16.4 seconds left, 13 to eight here, ending towards the end of the first quarter. Henderson had an opportunity there to maybe throw a bounce pass closer to the bucket to lead the runner there, but it's tipped out of bounds. Snowflake's still gonna have an opportunity to score here with 16.4. Larson inbounds the ball to Henderson. Henderson eventually gets it back. Henderson drives, now he kicks it out to Willis. Willis loses it off his fingertips out of bounds. 6.9 seconds left, 13 to eight. The Roadrunners up by five on the Lobos. As Baldonado is gonna check in for Bahi. Given Bahi that little break just before the quarter, probably gonna see him take a breather, get a drink, and be ready to go to start. Six, five, four. Here's Nelson. Nelson launches a long three, oh. and he hits it. My goodness. This is Sholo Ford's presentation of White Mountain Basketball on iTalk 106.7 and iTalk1067.com. I chose welding because there's always going to be a job and you can go so many different directions within it. The professors helped me so much with getting my skill level up to where it needs to be and helping me progress in the ways that I want to. It teaches you really to be job ready, having a good attitude and still working hard. NPC has transformed my life by giving me a skill and a trade that I can take with me wherever I go. 30 seconds. Welcome back to Holbrook High School where number 10, Anthony Nelson, has thrown down a long NBA range three-pointer to put the Roadrunners up 16-8 over the Lobos and double them up at the end of that first quarter. Um, Ron, not nearly the physical game we thought it was going to be no, after that more, girls this game. This more like a chess match. You know? I, don't, I don't know if it's, if it's a chess match. It's definitely a gentleman's chess match yeah. where they're going back and forth. And uh, alternating possession is going to go to the Roadrunners here as the Roadrunners are going to bring the ball out. And we're going to have Corporich is going to seemingly throw it into Baldonado. Baldonado decides to bring it up for his squad as Holbrook, very patient with this ball, gets set over to Clark. Clark brings it to the middle of Corporich. Long range. Coach Wood probably telling his men to stay very close to Corporich in that dangerous area. Here's Baldonado. Baldonado guarded by Noah Baum, number 23, the sophomore for the Lobos. Corporich with it out. Corporich now going to drive. Corporich go. Drive about a six foot jumper. No good. Patrick Henderson ends with it. And Patrick starting the Lobos transition game. Lobos wanting to run it. Patrick Henderson throwing it off the ball, throwing it off Clark. Didn't get it. Ball goes out of bounds. 
It is tipped and is going to be Lobo's ball. I didn't see what happened there, and I don't know if we have a replay, but I thought that it was the right call. I thought that it went out the way Henderson threw it, and eventually it went out. Here's Larson to bring it in, Willis. Willis, the ball handler. Willis bringing it down. There's McKay Wood wide open. McKay, easy to the bucket. McKay Wood, the coach's son, and the third brother to come through the Lobo basketball program, his older brother Garrett and his older brother Kurt, former Lobos, all, all coincidentally wearing that number 21. How many Here, more are in the pipeline? There's one more, and he is in the fourth grade. There's Corporage with the three. Corporage putting the Roadrunners up 19 to 10. Coach Wood has four boys. His next one is in the fourth grade, and he might be one of the better ones. I don't know the better ones, but he might be the best one of them all. Trevor is his name. Good, and they've some good young men there from, from Coach Wood teaching them basketball and life. We're having a foul whistled on Holbrook. I believe that's number 12. Clark's going to get whistled. That is going to be his first personal, and it's going to be the second team as Gannon Larson's going to bring it in for the Lobos. Ladies and gentlemen, if you listened to the last game, we had a little more excitement going. We're trying to stay a little more subdued to keep this one where it's at, but that first game wore us out a little bit. Here's the ball, tipped around, tipped around. Wow, what a it save. It did not go out of bounds. Patrick Henderson somehow ends up with it, <laughs> drives the lane, shoots about a six-foot jumper, a very flat shot that rolls around He's in the unlevel hops, rims. Though. Good. And now we have ourselves a 14, or excuse me, a 19-12 to 12 ball game. There's Clark. Clark over to Baldonado. Baldonado goes to his left, drives. Wow. Baldonado lays up no good off the rim where Michael Brimhall gets the rebound. Bra Brimhall to Baum. Baum being guarded by number 20, Cordell Begay. Baum over to Larson. Larson, that ball handler in the game right now for the Lobos. Larson looks, looks out to Patrick Henderson. Patrick throws up a long three. It is no good. Rebound is to Clark. Clark. Way long court pass to Begay, and it is out of bounds as Lobos are going to get possession with 5.55 left in the second quarter. 19 to 12, the Roadrunners are on top of the Lobos here from Munoz Gym. Got a halftime score from Winslow. Blue Ridge trails Winslow by uh, seven points, 33 to 26 at halftime. And that's a huge game as far as these power points go in the second time around. Yeah. The Lobos travel next week to Blue Ridge to play Sholo, and a game that they, they should win. I mean, I'm not trying to jump ahead. Sholo is a team I <laughs> would be a little nervous to play with their some of their They're athletes. Big guys, yeah. We have an intentional foul called. That's going to put Patrick Henderson. Is that a technical or an intentional? Uh, I didn't see. We are busy talking. I don't know what happened. Uh, busy talking like always, Ron. I apologize. It has to be a technical. Patrick Henderson shooting the technical foul. We'll get more information. Henderson, first one. Good. No good. I don't know what I was seeing there. And we have the officials discussing it with... I see Coach, uh, uh, Coach Johnson having to sit down, so it must have been a technical on the bench. And it possibly could have been. Patrick Henderson with a second ball up, and it is no good. Patrick Henderson missing both the technical foul shots. However, the Lobos are going to get possession down 19-12 to with 5.55 left here in the half, the second quarter. Brimhall, Lobos looking to get the ball into Henderson. Holbrook switching to a man-to-man -man defense. Henderson over to Baum. Baum to Larson. Larson... Back to Baum. Baum sees it. He tries to set something up inside. Larson seeing it. A lot of movement down below. Larson now drives the lane. He loses it. Saves his own ball. However, Corporich for the Roadrunners gets it. Now Corporich brings it down. Guarded by Henderson. Corporich over to Baldonado. Baldonado takes it over in front of the home crowd. Baldonado goes to his left. Throws away cross court pass to number 10. Anthony Nelson who misses it. Rebound eventually ends up in the gay Corporich for a long three. Bank, bank shot. Good. Kobe Corporich puts the Roadrunners up by 10. Uh, mid, approaching midway through the second quarter. That's his third three. Five minutes left, 22 to 12. And again, Ron, I don't want to jump ahead, but I saw that game courtside over at Snowflake, and I thought if Corporich would have been on his game, it would have been a different night for the Roadrunners. And right here we're seeing what that possibly could be. Henderson winds up with the loose ball over to Baum. Baum throws up a three. It's no good. Rebound by 
number 20, Cordell Begay against McKay Wood. Here comes Baldonado in. Baldonado lays it up for an easy two. 24 to 12. Roadrunners doubling up the Lobos, approaching halfway. Four minutes and 25 seconds in the second quarter. Here's McKay Wood out on top. McKay Wood coming in early. McKay goes. McKay into the lane. Whistled for an offensive foul. Number 10, Anthony Nelson to the court. And McKay Wood whistled for the foul. McKay Wood, the sophomore, the young sophomore, playing for uh, Stuart West, who has, you know, had his two very quick. Three team fouls for each team. That'll be an offensive foul. Goes down in the books. And we have Roadrunner possession. Number five, Baldonado brings it up. Baldonado goes to his left. In, under, swings it around, misses the layup, gets his own rebound. Outstairs to number 10, Nelson. Nelson misses it. Ball, ball, ball. Stuart West for the Lobos ends up with the rebound. Sends it to Devin Willis. Devin Willis brings it across the time stripe, goes to his right. And he is going to be fouled by number 20, Cordell Begay. And I believe that is going to be Begay's second. That's going to be a team fourth as Big Bahi checks in for the Roadrunners. He has done a fantastic job. Underneath that was actually Begay's first foul. Bahi checks in. He's guarding number 24, Stuart West. Battle of the bigs here on the side. Devin Willis, the ball to his right. Kicks it out to West at three-point range. West over to Baum. Baum over to this side to Brimhall. Brimhall throws, intercepted in the key by Corporich, who goes out to Baldonado, who gives it to Nelson. Nelson takes his time. Thinks about shooting a three, doesn't. Corporich with it. Corporich gives it to number 22, and that is Tapaha, I believe. I don't know how to say that for sure. Baldonado with it. Bahi comes into screen. Baldonado now moving to his left. Out to Corporich. Corporich guarded by number 25, Michael Brimhall. Over to Nelson. Nelson back to Corporich. Corporich thought about the three. Moves, doesn't shoot it. Moves to his left. Now goes, misses it. Rebound ends up and bomb. Bomb through. Bomb to the other side. Coast to coast layup for number 23, Noah Bomb of the Lobos. 24 to 14 as the Roadrunners have the dime spot on the Lobos as we move forward. Nelson with the ball. Nelson now looking to the middle. Corporich. Corporich out in what would be close to his range. Into Baldonado. Baldonado jump shot. Good. Good for the Roadrunners. And that puts them back into the 12-point lead. 26 to 14. Two minutes and 38 seconds left here in the first half. That's nine Bomb points for Baldonado. With the ball in the middle. Baum gives it over to Brimhall. Excuse me again, Nine, nine points for Baldonado right What does there. Corporich have? Corporich right now has 12 points. So between those two, looking pretty good. There's Brimhall with an inside miss to a layup. Gives it out to Baldonado. Corporich back to Baldonado. Baldonado brings it over the time stripe. Baldonado on the far side to Nelson. Nelson looking for Tapaha. Baldonado directing traffic. Corporich wide open. Didn't get it where he wanted it. Corporich always a danger to shoot that outside shot. Bahi comes up to screen. Bomb. Gives Corporich go. Corporich drives. Misses. Off the mark. No good. Bahi goes. And Bahi... With all his might, tried to put it up, but number 23, Noah Baum, nope, not going to do that, not going to get it easy tonight, and Noah Baum's going to be whistled for the foul and send Bahi to the line. But in my opinion, Mr. Ron Everingham, great foul by Noah Baum, and to show some physical play that we haven't seen in this game this far. Yeah. Although the physical play we're looking for, <laughs> we're comparing to that girls game. And wow, that was, that was a game. Bahi makes his first free throw. Putting the Roadrunners up 27 to 14. One minute and 54 seconds. We're under two minutes here in the first half. Bahi at the line to shoot his second. McKay, or no, Brinkerhoff and West down low. Brinkerhoff with the rebound. Out to Baum. Baum bringing the ball up the middle over to Michael Brimhall. Brimhall over to West. West against Bahi. West inside to Bahi. West goes in. And Bahi now going to be whistled for his foul. West is going to go to the line and shoot two. Great foul by Bahi, giving West a knockdown, not letting him have that easy shot. These have been some good fouls. It's actually some good fundamental basketball. Yeah. The referees and the coaches seem to be having a few discussions here and there about what's going on. Coach Wood is is definitely a little animated with, uh, I believe, I'm not sure, is that Neil? Um, the official here. I think so. West 
misses his first one at the line to shoot his second, 27 to 14. One minute and 44 seconds left here in the first half. Stuart West looks to the rim, goes, shoots, second shot is up, it is no good. Rebound is to Baldonado. Baldonado holding the ball, letting the court clear. And now Devin Willis comes up to guard Baldonado as we tick at one minute and 30 seconds left in the first half. 22 to Paha, out to Baldonado. Baldonado looking to not get trapped in that corner, sends Nelson to Corporage. Corporage long three, no good rebound. Tipped around a little bit, Brinkerhoff ends up the Brinkerhoff long horn pass to Willis. Willis gonna have an easy layup, he makes it. And the Lobos, 27 to 16, Lobos closing the lead. Minute 12 left here in the first quarter. Baldonado bringing it across, setting up traffic. Baldonado forced into a trap, gives it up to 22 to Paha. Over to Baldonado. Baldonado drives the middle of the lane. Seven foot, eight foot jumper from the middle of the key. Good. And we have 29 to 16, 55 seconds. Under a minute left to play here in the first half. Devin Willis for the Lobos goes. Wow. Baldonado picks his pocket, seals it. Baldonado goes down for the layup. He lays it up and in for the easy two. 31 and 16, 45 seconds left here in the first half. Baldonado going, doing a great job there of going through and, and what we would call picking his pocket, yeah, he bringing did. it down and uh, making Quick an easy hand. layup for himself. Here's Baum for three on the Lobos end. He misses, goes out of bounds. That's going to be tipped last by the blue, going to the white. Lobos wearing their blue tops trimmed in a tiny bit of black and saying snowflake across the front. Holbrook wearing their home whites with the big H on the shorts with Holbrook across the chest trimmed in the red, white, and blue of the Roadrunners. Here's Nelson in the corner, wanted three, guarded quick, didn't take it. Baldonado now, 17 seconds, 16, 15, 14. There's Baldonado to Corporich. Corporich, long range, good! Corporich with the three-point shot, 34 to 16, as seven, six, five, Baum brings the ball through. Baum over to Willis, Willis for three, Willis off the back, no good. Rebound is to Nelson, and time expires with the Roadrunners going to the halftime with a commanding 34 to 16 lead. This is Sholo Ford's presentation of White Mountain Basketball on iTalk 106.7 and iTalk1067.com. Who sells the number one truck in America? Sholo Ford. That's right, not only do they sell it, Sholo Ford is the best place to buy it. Why? Guy Hatch guarantees it. In fact, he guarantees you'll get the best deal on your next Ford car, van, or SUV as well. It doesn't matter what you buy, Sholo Ford has the best deal. Sholo Ford on the east end of the Deuce and at SholoFord.com. You've been there waiting forever at the gas station for the guy to free up so he can fill up your propane tank. Or worse, when the only qualified propane technician decided to stay home that day. Yep, you've been there and I have too. That's why now I get my propane from Ace Hardware every time. You get Ace Hardware's world-famous customer service when you stop in for propane. That's right, you get in, you get out, and you get a great deal on propane and everything else. From Ace Hardware at their locations in Pine Top and Heber. Ace Hardware is proud to support White Mountain Sports. Orthodontist Dr. Joshua Beeler has been providing family-friendly orthodontics in Sholo and the entire White Mountains since 2006. If you need braces, stop in and see the friendly folks at Beeler Orthodontics and meet their professional staff. Dr. Beeler and his team have the latest in orthodontics technology, and they work with each patient individually to custom-tailor the most effective treatment plan for the best results. Beeler Orthodontics is a proud sponsor of high school sports. Beeler Orthodontics. Live to smile. Love your smile. When you think glass, think Deemer's Glass in Lakeside. Deemer's Glass offers the best selection of quality glass with affordable prices. They do full home window packages, replacement windows, custom shower doors and enclosures, custom mirrors in many shapes, styles, and colors, glass doors and hardware, commercial glass for buildings and offices, skylights, screens, fire-rated glass for your fireplace or stove, window film, and more. Visit Deemer's Glass today on Porter Mountain Road in Lakeside or call 1-888-GLASSMAN. Want to go fishing? Head to Honda Ski and Outdoor Sport. They have fishing supplies, outdoor fishing attire, and fishing gear. Plus, all kinds of bait, including live worms, flies, and lures. The staff are experienced anglers, and they can advise you on what you need, where to go, and what type of bait the fish